Well, good morning, everybody. Grace and peace to you from our Lord Jesus Christ and all the saints here in Central California. Um, coming, to you, coming to you today, again, from here in the uh, MDF, um, kind of an issue of the week sort of thing, recurring segment with me, always got an issue. Um, so what the problem we're having is we have uh, a remote VPN user, actually a, a batch of remote VPN users, who are complaining uh, about network latency too slow. Uh, it's not something they complained about before, but more and more they're starting to complain about this. So what we did is we had a, uh, an old internet circuit that was no longer being used. We were about to cancel it. And instead what we had is, okay, switch over and use that internet circuit nobody else is using. And same problem. So then we bumped up the bandwidth. So now they have their very own private 300 megabit circuit. And they're saying it's still too slow. So uh, we're trying to troubleshoot that. We've had the, uh, the, the ISP come out several times and verify that their circuit is in fact 300 meg. And uh, I'm going to kind of go through what they did to prove that. So what I've done is set up a little Linux box. It's actually right there. can't see it, but that white cable goes to it. Um, it's just Linux Mint. And uh, what I'm doing is I'm running iPerf on it, iPerf 3. And iPerf 3, I'll put a link in the description below. Um, you can download it for free. Um, with Linux, you can use apt, apt, apt to uh, install it, um, or you can go to their, their website and download different Linux packages for it um, to, to get this installed. So basically, what I do, I've got it installed, and all I do is just run iperf3 minus f, s, iperf3 minus s, which starts the server up. I've connected this little Unix box down there in place of my firewall. So now what I'm going to do is go upstairs and run the client side of iperf and see what we're getting. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. All right, we're back up here in my data center. Sorry for the noise and the, the crappy audio. Um, so I'm up here. I've got my laptop right there. And I am hooked up via uh, Ethernet, USB Ethernet connector into a uh, VLAN on the outside of my network, kind of. It's a different, I'm still behind a firewall, but it's a different ISP, so I can swing around and get into them and do testing on the side. So, uh, test on the circuit that I'm trying to get back. So, anyway, I've got the iPerf loaded on this laptop here. Um, the Windows is, it's, just as dead simple as the, the Linux side, um, except it's a, a Windows executable. It's not, you can't run it from a window. It's not a, it's not a Windows-based program. It is a command line program. Um, so, man, how am I gonna do this? Let's see. Let's see if I can. Uh, I'll put you down for just a second while I type in the command. Pardon my finger. Didn't mean to poke you in the eye there. Watch the finger! Watch the finger! So, if I just type iperf3, it'll tell you all the uh, different command line switches you can use to, uh, to make it do what you want it to do. So in my case, I'm going to use uh, iperf minus C, which means run it in client mode. And then the IP address of the machine that I want to use as my server. So, hang on real quick. You do that, and then I'll show you the results. You can't see. Hang on. There we go. There's also a, um, a 
minus V parameter for verbose. I'm going to use that. And then minus T tells you how long you want the test to run. By default, it's 10 seconds. I usually do like 20, so hang on. Minus T. There we go. So, man, my thumbs. So now it's running. And we'll see what kind of result we get. So it's a 300 megabit circuit, right? And if I look here, it says I'm only getting 61 megabits bandwidth. Sending and receiving. That's 300 megabits. Why, why isn't that working? Well, this is why. So unless I test with a desktop that's got a built-in Ethernet connector, I'm not going to see the full bandwidth. It just, it just won't work. So we can go over to my desktop and I can demonstrate that. I've got it on my desktop. And we'll do it from there just to see what the bandwidth is over our at and connection. Just as a test. So hang on, let's get over here. Oh, so much quieter out here. All right, let me put you guys right there. And you can stare at my ugly mug while I get, or my ceiling. <laughs> Let me get logged in here, guys, real quick. Super secret password, there we go. Let's get a command line open to the right place. Where did I tuck? There it is, it's still running. Alright, so we're going to do the same thing, I perf minus C, mm -hmm. and we're going to do minus V for verbose, and minus T, 20 seconds. Alright, it is running. Is it working though? Doesn't look like it is. Okay, my firewall's blocking it in here. Wouldn't you know it? So, let's see, how can we do this? Uh, no. no, there's no way to do it from in here. And my firewall is blocking the, uh, the iPerf ports. So, really what I would have to do is run it from a desktop from the other end, and that's what I'm going to have the, uh, the guys that are complaining. Um, they're going to load this on one of their desktops and run it from there, and we're going to see exactly what kind of bandwidth we're getting from them to us. See, part of the problem is the way he's been testing this is he's just going to speedtest.net. So, and maybe some of you smart guys can help me think this through. It's not a good test in my, my opinion because, okay, so he's connecting to us over a VPN client. He, he goes to speedtest.net. So to run that test, he goes from his client to our firewall, out to the internet, back to our firewall, back down to his client. So that's two trips over our VPN. That's gonna introduce all kinds of latency because you know packets have to get encrypted and inspected and all that stuff as it's going through our firewall and two trips over that is going to make it even worse so i don't think speedtest.net is, is a very good i mean it's it's great if you're at home and you want to see what kind of bandwidth you're getting from your internet service provider um, but i don't care what his bandwidth is to us and then back out to the internet that's what he's testing. He's testing to us and then back out. Well, that's not that's not how they work, though. What, what they do is they connect to us to a server. Uh, where is that server? It's right over here. They connect to us via VPN, 
and then they connect into this this affair right here. That's where all, all of our radiology images are, are right in here. So really all we care about is speed test from him to us. We don't care back back out to the internet. Anyway, that's my thought. So um, yeah, this this wasn't a good test this morning, not really. But it's it's good in that sorry about the lighting. It's good in that you can kind of see what I'm doing and what my methodology is and what my, my thinking is. And uh, some of you guys out there that are um, smarter than me, and I know you're out there. <laughs> I know there's a couple guys out there that are way smarter than me. Um, if you have any ideas, that'd be great. Uh, leave them in the comments below. So that's what we got. I'm, we're going to be continuing to troubleshoot this in the, in the next couple of weeks. Um, one of the guys is out on vacation that's going to test with us. So. When he gets back, um, then we'll, we'll do some more testing. So, anyway, guys, that's all I got for this week. Uh, if you liked what you saw, click the subscribe button, click the notification bell. Um, sorry these videos are kind of thrown together last minute, but that's just how I roll. We don't do any kind of professional polish here. It's just all raw and real and uh, kind of the way I think YouTube was originally meant to be. But, uh, whatever. So as always guys, God bless and I will catch you next time.